Welcome, I am the Appliance Dude, otherwise known as Jonathan here at Curtis in Westchester County, coming at you, yes, from the largest showroom in Westchester County, the Bronx in Manhattan, the largest appliance showroom that is. Actually, I don't want to call it an appliance showroom. It's an appliance playground. It's not an appliance store. It's an appliance dream world. It's a place to come and get inspired. That was how we designed this place. Over two years in the making, we've been open for six months. That's the reason why the Appliance Dude has not been rocking his thing on the camera like Rakim did back in the 80s um, when he was on the microphone I have been so busy with this showroom and the floor traffic and everything else the customers love it the trade people love it we're growing wait till the promotions start forget about it um, I implore you please come and visit us but I'm here today to talk about one of my favorite topics the inaugural the return of the appliance dude as I get regularly back on the uh, on the camera again we're gonna talk about Viking and what I've noticed in the six months that we've been open, I've been noticing trends, okay? And I see a lot of people going between the two 30-inch Viking ranges, the 3 Series, which is the RVGR3305, and the 5 Series, which is the VGCC5304. And a lot of back and forth, which one should I get? So we're going to use this video installment to break them down and help you decide which Viking 30-inch is for you. Now, right off the bat, there's, they are polar opposites in, in the looks department. The RVG3, RVGR3305 is a more modern, contemporary look. It has a window that goes completely across the front of the door. The handles are a little different. It has five burners up top. It has sleeker uh, grates up top as well, and it has a fifth burner on the top, okay? That's a big difference. The, VG the VGCC 5304 really hasn't changed all that much over the years. It's the classic, the iconic Viking range. It has four burners as opposed to five, okay? It has actually individual grates. There's actually one sitting right here smiling at me. Individual grates. Okay, it also has brass burners on it, whereas the RVGR3305 does not. Now, the interesting thing is the newer RVGR3305 actually gives off more firepower. There are two 18,000 BTU burners on it. Okay, you know it has five burners again as opposed to four over here. That one has um, two 18,000 BTU burners, whereas the classic Viking 30 inch only has that, well, only, it has one 18,500 BTU burner on the front right, okay? So the big difference right off the bat you're gonna see is one has five burners, one has four burners. The folks who are buying, buying the RVGR3305 love that fifth burner because you can do more with it. A lot of the fifth burners that are the horizontal ones that go down the middle are kind of light in the BTU department. They're like 5,000 BTUs. I believe that one is either eight or 9,000 BTUs. So you can actually cook on it. It's not just for simmering or you know, throwing a griddle on there and stuff like that. I mean, you can actually do some semblance of cooking on it. The other big difference between these ranges is the fact that the RVGR3305 is self-cleaning, whereas the classic 5 Series VGCC5304, how many more times am I going to repeat these model numbers? Probably not much. Um, that does not have self-cleaning. It's just the, it's, it's the old school Viking kick-ass Sherman tank range, okay? And, um, you know, to me, self-cleaning has become a little overrated nowadays. I don't have as many people asking about it, but again, if self-cleaning is your thing, then definitely the RVGR3305 is where you have to go. Another big difference, on the classic 5 Series 30-inch, it has two sliding racks. Three racks in total, top and bottom are sliding, telescopic, whatever you want to call it. People love that. They only put one in the RVGR3305, and you cannot buy... To the best of my knowledge, you can't buy an additional telescopic rack. So they're making that, you know, that's kind of like a, if the racks are important, you got to go graduate and go do the, um, the 5 Series. So the price, okay. There's always been, well, there's been for the past like two years, there's been a rebate going on on the 3 Series. So right now, if you're just to walk in, the UMRP pricing, I believe that the 30-inch 5 Series is $46.99 and... There's like a, I don't know, like a two or three hundred dollar difference between them. The RVGR 33 or 5 being less. I think that sells for $43.89 and the 5 Series is $46.99. Now you have a $400 rebate on that. So now all of a sudden the price spread gets to more like six or seven hundred dollars. So it becomes, you know, there's, there, there, there's quite a gap over there. So you really have to say to yourself what's important. They're very different looking. One is self-cleaning. One has a fifth burner. 
you know, more contemporary look. The RVG R33 or five does have a smaller oven. The reason being is because it has self-cleaning, so there needs to be more insulation. They are rated the same from, um, um, I think the AHAM ratings are actually different from the cubic capacity, but Viking rates them both at 4.0, they're not. The oven on the VGC C5304 is actually bigger. Now, one thing that folks have asked me, they were just like, well, are they made the same way? You know, they don't feel the same. They do. These ranges are actually built on the same chassis. And that came to me directly from Greenwood. Okay, that has been confirmed. So it's not like they went, they chintzed out on the RVGR3305. It is built with the same Viking uh, craftsmanship and it's literally built on the same line as the VGCC 5304, so you're not going to lose anything over there. Um, I think, again, like what this really comes down to, it's a look. Um, I'm, selling, I'm selling more of the RVGRs right now, a little bit because of the price, but also people are digging that fifth burner on top and the self-cleaning plays into it a little bit. But there's always going to be a market for the VGCC 5304. It's so classic. It's so beautiful. Um, you know, I have folks that come in here that haven't done their kitchens in, I don't know, 10, 12 years, and they'll waltz over to the Viking section. Like, I have that range, or I had that range when I lived in Manhattan, and you know what? We never had a problem. The simmer holds so well on it. The 18,500 BTUs, poof, it gets to boil so quickly. And, you know, whether they are going to, you know, they're graduating, they have a larger house now or something like that, they don't need a 30 inch range anymore. But just this morning, I had somebody come in and she was looking at that. The VGCC 5304 was so with such like longingness in her eyes, you know, and she was just like that range has done us so well for the last ten years. She's going to a 48, God bless. But um, I've never heard anything bad about it. And of course, the classic setup is to get that range with the uh, VMOR microwave hung above it. Um, you see those all over Manhattan.